Hey, my name is Kate, and I'm a teacher here at the Autism Treatment Center of America. And I am sending to all you amazing, talented people out there your weekly theme so that you can use the exact theme or a different theme, bring it into the playroom with your children. Now, this game was designed to help children use more than one word. So if you want to encourage your child to put two words together, or maybe they have two and you want to encourage them to put three words together, this is the game for you. And this game is called Build a Person Game. Now, unlike some of our other themes, this theme takes a lot of prep time. So one thing that we encourage you here at the Autism Treatment Center of America is, let's say every three months, get all your volunteers together and throw a little theme party. And the idea is during that party, maybe you provide some pizza, or some little snacks, but you all get together, you listen to music, you cut out things from magazines, you create themes together that would take a longer time than just the 15 minute prep time so that all your themes are ready for the next three months together. And so here at the Autism Treatment Center of America, we often have theme ideas that take us a little bit to create. So we would get together for a couple of hours and create them. For our children to come and in fact we created this game specifically for a child that we knew was coming in a month or so's time now what we've done is we cut out loads of eyes my camera friend Juliet is going to zoom into this so we've got blue eyes and black eyes and green eyes and big eyes and tiny eyes closed eyes and open eyes we have big nostrils and little noses. We have hairy noses. We have white noses. We have big juicy lips. We have pink lips. We have hairy lips. We have lips with teeth and closed lips. We have different types of hair. We have curly hair and we have blonde hair. We have <laughs> different bodies here as well. We've got three different types actually. So the idea is you would create these at your theme party and then when you bring in your theme you would put these up on the shelf so that your child can see wow there's a whole load of eyes here there's a whole load of hair there's a whole load of bodies and then you would bring down this right which is basically this is a face here and then we've put velcro at the top and at the bottom and on the face so that you can build a face together so you might demonstrate this to your child. You might say, come on, let's make a face together. And you might take a blue eye down and put it right here. And then you'd say, okay, what, what shall we put on next? Your child might say, eye. And then you can say, oh, we've got so many eyes. Would you like a blue eye or a green eye, a little eye, a small eye? And then it encourages your child to put more than one word together because there are so many eyes to choose from and they have to be more specific in asking what they want. And then so maybe they'll say, green eye. Now I have to find a green eye. Here's a green eye. And then they might say hair, and you get them to say blonde hair, or brown hair, straight hair, or curly hair, and you put the hair on, right? Ooh, look at that. You could make hats too, you could get hats. Then you put a body on, and you make, uh, and you make a person together. If your child's really into dinosaurs, maybe you, may, maybe you make a dinosaur with dinosaur shapes, or you make boat shapes like that so you could do many different things have fun creating this game and requesting and requesting and requesting and encouraging your child to say more than one word